Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Coach Coco and I love volleyball. So much so my channel's filled with tips, tricks, hacks, and anything you can ever need to know about volleyball. So I've done a lot of confidence boosting videos in the past, but one video that I am so inspired to do that was recently inspired by one of my clients and one of the comments, thank you so much for commenting, is how do you get back up when you guys are all breaking down or you feel like your emotions are going through a roller coaster in a game and half of the team is down and one person's working really hard? How do we pick up our mood when things seem to be going downhill? Let's get right into it. But as you guys know, I'm a big believer that we need to take care of our body and we need to prepare the best way that we can while we're playing these sports. That means that we need to make sure to stretch. That means we need to make sure to hydrate. And that also means that we need to make sure to take care of our muscles. So let's say thank you to today's sponsor. Thank you so much, Flickies, for sending me this portable massage gun. And if you guys don't already know, I am the massage gun guru. I love massage guns because they help me so much, especially with more so soreness, making sure that I'm keeping up with my muscle tone, and protecting myself between playing and volleyball games. Now this is a newly defined massage gun that has powerful targeted energy and wide usage. I really like how they have adjustable speeds for the entire body and it has a lot of portable massage heads that it's portable anywhere. I love portability. It has to be something that I can put in my volleyball bag. It has to be something that I can use quick on the go and this is exactly that. As you can see, I just came from coaching and I really wanted to massage my bicep because I've been doing a lot of swinging at my players, making sure to work on that serve receive. So I like to target my bicep. The one thing that I like this is that so the case is so small that it, everything fits right into the case. So I can really just put it and stash it in my volleyball bag. All the massage heads and nozzles are so convenient and it has powerful speeds. Now, I personally don't like my massage gun to be too strong on my body, but some people really like that it adjustable speed and they like it at a higher rate, especially if they're targeting a specific area like their quadriceps or maybe their biceps. But I personally like to use it on my shoulder and my biceps. As you guys know, I have an old shoulder injury from playing volleyball. So I want to make sure to take care of that so I can keep playing volleyball for longer. Now I know senior night is coming up and you're looking at a volleyball gift to get some of your friends. This is something to think about, especially if you're playing and you're, you know, you guys are going to start playing higher level volleyball, or maybe you're going off to school, you're going to play volleyball. This is something that I would highly suggest putting into your routine. It's in my routine. So please check the description box below for more information on the Flickies. And thank you so much Flickies for sponsoring today's video. So if you don't already know, volleyball is a psychological sport. Most sports have a lot of psychology based in them because you have to learn how to overcome things, you have to learn how to triumph over things. So psychology is really interwoven with a lot of different sports. I know that in my personal coaching practice, I like to use things like mental rehearsal, which we're gonna talk about in this video, and the positive affirmations and the power of positivity. And this is something that's gonna be so integral to you playing volleyball, and you could start putting this in your own personal practice because it is something that you're gonna to have to practice and work over time. So one of the things that happens the most often is you're playing a really difficult team. So let me set the scene for you. Imagine you are going to practice and your coach says, hey, Ashley, Next week, our game, we're playing the number one seed in the whole nation. Most people automatically are gonna go, oh my God, number one seed. Oh, it's gonna be so hard, this is gonna be such a hard game. Oh God, oh God. And then they start to get down on themselves. What you tell yourself, sometimes you can start to believe, right? You know how people say the power of positivity or the power of manifestation, or if you say something to yourself enough, you'll start to believe it. This is what that means. For example, if you start to think, oh, I can't serve, I just can't serve. Oh my God, every time I serve, it doesn't go over the net. It's awful, it's an awful experience. I just cannot serve. Do you think that pod, that narrative that we're saying in our mind is something that could possibly translate to the future? Yes, absolutely. I tell my players all the time when I'm coaching them, what you say to yourself in your mind is something that could possibly happen. So let's think about it this way. If I'm working on my serve and I'm trying to be working on my serve for a long time, I want you to start thinking about the positive and that's the first step, the power of positivity. I want you to go, okay, you know what? It's okay. The growth mindset, I haven't gotten it yet. I haven't gotten my serve yet, but that doesn't mean I can't do it. So when you are doing practicing these skills and you do have your arm up and you look like you're about to go, it's going over. It's about to go over. I got this. It's going over. I got it. It's going over. I want you to think about it like that and start telling yourself those positive things. Even if it doesn't happen, 
we can start building that habit because this is something you can use in all of your life. You're about to take the test. I'm about to take my EOG. But you know what? I'm gonna do great. I'm gonna do great. You know, you know how people say fake it till you make it? This is one of those things. You might have to fake it till you make it, right? Okay, number two is remember what's in your control and what's not in your control. So let's say you're playing a very difficult game. You're playing the number one seed and it's a very hard game and you guys are losing awfully losing right do you shut down and just go oh it's over just give it up it's done the game's over done no i want you to still use that as a learning experience to continue going i know that it can be disappointing especially when you work really hard disappointment is natural and i know that sometimes when you work really hard you've been giving your best effort use it as a learning experience fail is first attempt in learning that doesn't mean that you're a failure that does not mean that you have failed it means that it is your first attempt in learning you have to learn that there are many times you're going to fall and you're going to get back up but when you shut down and the emotions and the team everybody starts shutting down and you feel that oppressive emotion on everyone it makes it very stressful for others so i want you guys to start uplifting each other on these teams you got it ashley you got it we were right here we're right here it really does set the tone when we're all bonding together and at that team unit. And that's why I'm such a big advocate for team bonding. We're such a team unit and we're so close that we are working on that. We can uplift each other. And you see that first inkling that somebody is starting to, to, to you know, get down on themselves. It's okay, Ashley. We got it. We're right here. We're right here. Give it your best and give it your all and then use it as a learning experience. It's all you can do in these situations. Number three is mental rehearsal. Mental rehearsal is something that has been used by athletes from time and time again. And mental rehearsal is when you actually start to imagine, you vividly imagine exactly what is going to happen in the future. It's you vividly imagine exactly how you're going to perform a skill. For example, I use mental rehearsal very often with my players with both serving and both hitting. So I say, okay, so you just, you're doing your approach. You transition back off of the net, okay? What are you wearing? Are you wearing this? Okay. Imagine yourself exactly how you are. I want you to be as vivid as possible. I want you to think about what clothes you're going to be wearing. I want you to think about the actual court you're on. I want you to think about what the sounds you hear. I want you to make it as vivid as a, as a, as vivid as a memory as you can, right? So then I say, okay, so you're starting your transition. Think about the set you're about to get, okay? Imagine you attacking it and it going to the floor, okay? Let's think about that again. Think about it like you, I know that a lot of you guys are um, too young for VHS tapes. But when I was a child, we had VHS tapes and we had to put the tape in. And if you wanted to rewind it, you had to push the rewind button to rewind it and it go so I want you to think about that. <laughs> um, comment down below if you know what a VHS is. <laughs> but you go, Rrr! so I want you to think about it, rewind it, put the tape in, play it again. Rrr! Play it again. Rrr! Play it again. That is mental rehearsal. When we are looking and isolating a skill and we're using that skill to rehearse it mentally in our mind. So that way, when we actually do it, we've done it a thousand times before. That is a, a, a very popular and very, I don't want to know, say common, but is a very resourceful way for you to be able to practice skills in an isolated environment. And you think about that skill and you actually start to translate onto the court. So I know that a lot of you all are playing volleyball for the first time or you've been on a team for a while. And these are things that you can utilize all the time. Please remember that. You know, volleyball is a sport that you're going to have to grow at. You're going to learn new things every single day and you can control only what you can control. Uh, one thing that I really like and the saying that I really like is you can't control how others treat you. You can only control your response to it. So if you think about on the court, you sometimes you can't control the external factors by yourself. There is no I in team. So if the game is not going the way that it was anticipated, I want you to control your reaction. It starts with you. Okay. And I mean that as I want you to be the positivity. I want you to be the light. I want you to be the person that's like, okay, it's, it's good. I got it. Because then everybody's mood will start to trickle and you guys will start to build some positivity around that. So I hope that you like this video. I hope that it was helpful. I hope that this is something that you can utilize both in volleyball. Um, you can use mental rehearsal any other time in your life. You can use the power of positivity. And I want you to do one thing. I want you to get a sticky note and I want you to write something very nice about yourself. It can be volleyball or life. And I wanted to put it on your bathroom mirror so you can see it and you start to read it. And when you see it, you will start to really absorb that and you really start to feel it. Okay. So let's use positivity this week. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.